Nation, that was a shit show. We looked terrible today. Granted, there were a few bright spots, but overall, we looked like we have never played football a day in our lives. I was so pissed off by the time that game ended that I waited a good few hours before I'm making this video. I know, it's only week one, so I am not overreacting. This team will get their shit together. But there were some blatantly obvious holes in this team that we still have not addressed. We completely lost in the trenches. Car's ass was sacked six times and under pressure the entire damn game. But I really can't fault our offensive line too much because there were certain times where they did look pretty good. And there were other times where Car had very fucking clear running lanes and decided to just stand in the pocket until somebody came up and tackled his ass. He had tunnel vision with Devontae Adams. He barely fed Josh Jacobs. Waller was only a factor going into the third and fourth quarters. And Bryce Callahan completely freaking took Renfro out told you the only reason that they brought his ass onto that team was to guard Hunter Renfro and it worked out perfectly for him because he only had three catches for 21 yards plus he ended up giving up a pick because Carr threw the ball behind Renfro. Carr was throwing the ball behind every damn receiver that we had. We had Devontae streaking to the end zone behind everybody. Carr threw that ball short as shit and it ended up getting picked off. And then on the other side I got to watch Justin Herbert completely shred our fucking defense that's supposed to be awesome this year. The dude hit nine different receivers in this game. Our defense didn't know what the hell they were doing. I'll tell you what Herbert was doing. Hey, we're just going to target Abram this entire damn game and make him look like the fool that he is when he's in coverage. You want to know why he ended up having nine tackles and led the team? It's because they were throwing at him every single fucking play. That shit has to be addressed. Then we honestly did a pretty good job as far as containing Eckler goes. That was one of my biggest concerns going into this game, and I think it was one of the biggest concerns for the Raiders. Because even his pass and rush yards combined, he was still under 100. And a lot of that has to do with the way that our linebackers were playing in this game, even though we were still getting beat by the running backs out of the backfield. Quick honorable mention to Nate Hobbs, he actually played one hell of a game. But Teamer, your ass looked like you should be on our practice squad. And then Bosa and Mack combined for four and a half sacks. And Derwin James added on another. Now that James sack, I really did not think Carr was getting back up from that. They completely exploited our offensive front five this entire damn game. I was right, we did end up seeing a pretty good bit of Foster Moreau out there trying to help these guys, but that shit just was not working. And could somebody please tell me where the fuck Chandler Jones was for this entire damn game? Two tackles. Never saw him really getting any pressure. Mad Max was out there working his ass off. He had no help coming from that opposite side. They were running the ball straight down our throats on multiple occasions. Then as soon as we would step up, there, there goes Herbert working his fucking magic again, just shredding our defense piece by piece. Absolute worst part of today's game, and I only say this because this shit has already started to happen, is the car haters already in my fucking ear talking about three interceptions, two fumbles, there's your superstar, aren't you glad we kept him? Yeah, I am, and that dude is going to fucking feast this season, and he had a bad week one. And his ass was going to bounce back, and you're going to be riding on his sack once again. Jacobs looked like he was on pace to have a pretty damn good game, but we only gave him the ball 10 times. 10 carries for Josh Jacobs. That is not how you win. We only rushed the ball 13 times this entire damn game. And then we have to mention Devontae Adams. 10 catches for 141 yards and a touchdown, but we still lost the fucking game. So what difference does that stat line make? Dude was targeted twice as many times than any other player on this roster. And I get it, Renfro was completely covered up by Callahan. But Waller was averaging 19 yards a catch. Why the hell would you not keep feeding him the ball? I am completely confident that we will bounce back from this and we are going to whip that ass in week two. But we have a hell of a lot of work to do to get to that point. Especially since Mahomes just went and completely shredded Arizona. This entire season is going to be a dogfight and we need to get this train headed in the right direction immediately. Because if you slack at the beginning of the year and we end up going like 1-3 and three or 0-4, oh we're screwed. Our season is over by week 5. Hit me up and let me know your thoughts on this one, man, because you can tell I'm still pissed off about it. I knew it was going to be a tough game, but I was not expecting to pretty much just be blown out. The final score does not reflect how this game was actually played. I'll be back in a few days. We'll see y'all later.